we're a team. Yeah. Absolutely. So tell me exactly what had happened. When did you get the alert? When did water start coming in? Um, so it was March 10th that we got a little letter thing, you know, saying that it might flood, which we got also about two months ago. We got one back then when they said it was going to flood. Um, we ended up leaving, you know, spending a bunch of money on hotels and whatnot and just pretty much wasting our time in a way, you know, unfortunately. Um, I mean, obviously safety first, but so this time we got the notice and um, we were like, okay, like we'll be aware, you know, we're, we're not seeing any rainfall or anything. That night at about 12, I believe it was, um, they had people walk around. We didn't talk to anyone. They knocked on our door. I was asleep, so I got up. By the time I got to the door, they were gone. Um, and so we're like, okay, like weird. About 30 minutes later, we hear sirens going off, the fire trucks going off uh, up and down the street. They're talking over the microphone, but we can't understand them. I'm like calling the non-emergency line. It was so weird. I was like, what is going on right now? You know, we don't see anything. I don't know that the Pajaro River broke. I didn't know that, you know, I'm, I'm like, what's going on? So um, we're up until about 3 a.m. Um, I go to sleep, I wake up at 7 a.m. My whole outside water, just water everywhere could not, you know, tell what, you know, obviously we found out at that point that the Pajaro River had uh, broken down or when it went over. Um, and you say we, family? Uh, my boyfriend and uh -huh. I. Yeah, yeah, we both live right here. And so are you still staying at your house or are you? We are, yeah. Uh, we actually still have power right now. We've been watching it fluctuate a little bit, probably about two inches. We measured it actually in our driveway um, and it was about eight inches. But out on the street, it's way deeper than that. And did it uh, get into your house or no? Not yet, no. Uh, we're about Good. two feet up, so we still probably got about a foot maybe. So we're we're just trying to get a plan together, whatever we got to do, you know. Uh, How long have you lived here roughly? <laughs> we just moved here in December. God. The end of December, and we got evacuated about two weeks later, and then now this. Where'd so, you move from? Uh, Santa Cruz Mountains, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where about? Ben Lomans. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. From oh, one disaster to point to another. Right. Now. No, we're like, it's going to be so much better. <laughs> no, they're doing great out there right now, actually. So, <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm about to get some more water and just some supplies, you know. <laughs> See how, how long did, we can Walking make out of your house, you're surrounded by a lake. What's going through your mind? Um, it's definitely a little frightening. Um, I've just, I've never gone through anything like this. No. You know, I even, I lived in Florida for three years. Um, and hurricanes. we had hurricanes, it was flooding, but nothing like this. We're literally like on an island and you can't see when you're walking out and it's just, it's scary. It's, it's and to just not even know, even after the storms are gone, when is the flooding going to be gone? That's the thing. It's like the Pajaro River is still broken at this point, as far as I know. Sure it is. Um, and you know, it's just where's all this water gonna go? How long is it gonna take? It could be a month, it could be a week, it could be, you know, so it's really just up in the air, you know? If things uh, start flooding into the house, do you have a plan of where are you gonna go? You so have... we actually just got this plan together um, cause we're trying to call AAA, see if we get our cars towed, what, how we should go about this, you know? Um, and I think we decided that if it gets up any higher and the storm starts coming in and it's bad, we're just gonna gun it. We're gonna, we're already putting all our stuff up high. So we are just gotta load the car and just get out of here. We're just gonna floor it through the water, I guess. Okay. Do the best we can. I Your mean, vehicle's okay? It's all, it's up right now. Okay. Yeah, so okay. that's that's one of the bigger, here's this back for you. Thank you. Yeah, um, it's one of the bigger issues as well, not just the home, the cars, so <laughs> yeah. That's Good luck on this. Thank you.